the waste fibers from hemp crops can be transformed into high-performance energy storage devices, scientists say. They cooked cannabis spark into carbon nanosheets and built supercapacitors on a par with or better than graphene, the industry gold standard. Electric cars and power tools could harness this hemp technology, the U.S. researchers say. They presented their work at the American Chemical Society meeting in San Francisco. People ask me, why hemp? I say, why not? Said Dr. David Midland of Clarkson University, New York, who describes his device in the journal ACS Nano. We're making graphene like materials for a thousandth of the price, and we're doing it with waste. The hemp we use is perfectly legal to grow. It has no THC in it at all, so there's no overlap with any recreational activities. Secret sauce in countries including China, Canada, and the UK. Hemp can be grown industrially for clothing and building materials. But the leftover bashed fiber, the inner bark, typically ends up as landfill. Dr. Mitlin's team took these fibers and recycled them into supercapacitors, energy storage devices which are transforming the way electronics are powered. Conventional batteries store large reservoirs of energy and drip feed it slowly, whereas supercapacitors can rapidly discharge their entire load. They are ideal in machines that rely on sharp bursts of power. In electric cars, for example, supercapacitors are used for regenerative braking. Releasing this storage requires electrodes with high surface area, one of graphene's many phenomenal properties. Stronger than diamond, more conductive than copper and more flexible than rubber, the miracle material was the target of a £50 million investment by UK Chancellor George Osborne. But while this carbon monolayer is the state-of-the-art material for commercial supercapacitors, it is prohibitively expensive to produce.